Here's another example. Uh, same questions here. Amplitude, period, phase shift, and vertical shift of the following function. Um, remember, we can read these off quickly just remembering the, the formula A sine of BX plus C plus D. And if we remember, if we can figure out what A, B, C, and D are, we have formulas for all four of these properties. So amplitude, that's the A, or if the A is negative, you make it positive. So that's the absolute value of A, which is just 2 here. The period is 2 pi over the B. The B is 2 here, so that's pi. The phase shift is negative C over B. which is, OK, c is negative pi over 3. So negative of that is pi over 3 divided by 2 will give us pi, will give us pi over 6. And finally, the vertical shift is d, which in this case is just 0. And finally, the fun part, we get to graph the function. And remember, you always start with your basic sine or cosine graph, and then you start moving it around according to these different parameters. But you've got to keep these parameters in order. So let me start with, this one's a sine graph. And I know the basic shape of the sine graph. I've got that memorized. pi and 2 pi. I know sine always starts at 0, goes up to 1, comes back down to, to 0, to negative 1, and then back to 0. So there's 1, there's negative 1, there's pi, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. So that's my basic sine graph. So that's the first thing I graph there, sine x. Again, you remember this, the graphs of sine and cosine x. Now we start introducing these other attributes, and it's important to go in order. So first of all, we're going to introduce the amplitude. And that's the neg well, the amplitude is 2, but we're really multiplying the graph by negative 2. So negative 2 sine x is what I'm going to graph next. Um, negative 2 sine x, that stretches it vertically because of the 2, but it also flips it vertically. So instead of starting by going up, it's going to go down. Goes down to negative 2, up to 0, up to 2, and back down to 0. So that first one was a little lopsided. Let me see if I can make that a little more a little smoother. OK, so we've got negative 2 sine x. Look, it's, it's got a bigger amplitude than the original graph, and it's flipped over because of the negative sign. Next thing to introduce is the period. The period is supposed to be pi, so I'm graphing negative 2 sine of 2x. That speeds the whole thing up. It, it shortens the period because the period is now pi instead of 2 pi. So I need to do that entire graph in the space of pi instead of 2 pi. So there, that one that I just graphed, I shortened the period to be pi instead of 2 pi. So the period is now pi on that, that new graph. Next, we've got to do the phase shift. That's pi over 6 units to the right. So the phase shift, what I'm about to graph is negative 2 sine of 2x minus pi over 3. So that takes the whole graph and it shifts it over pi 
over three units to the right. Um, let me do this one in red. So I'm going to take that last graph and shift it over pi over three units to the right. So instead of starting at zero, zero, it starts at pi over three and it's going to come back down to zero at uh, five pi over six. Or sorry, the phase shift is supposed to be pi over six. Pi over six, so I'm gonna move everything over by pi over six. So instead of starting at zero, I'm going to start at pi over six and come back at pi over two plus pi over six, which is actually two pi over three. So that red curve that I graphed there is negative 2 sine of 2x minus pi over 3. The last step is to do the vertical shift, which is 0. So we don't have to move the graph at all, which means we're done. So this last graph is the one we want. Um, again, it's a matter of breaking these equations down into their parts. It's very complicated if you kind of look at the whole thing, but if you look at each step and you keep the steps in order, then it's not too hard. So you remember the equations for amplitude, period, phase shift, and vertical shift. Once you got those, you start with your basic sine x graph, then you change the amplitude, which uh, stretches it out up and down or it might flip it. You change the period which compresses it horizontally. You, you do the phase shift which takes the whole thing and without compressing it, it moves it to the right or the left. And finally the vertical shift moves it up or down. So you can just keep moving these, these graphs around until you build up the equation that you're looking for.